Apple is spending north of $1 billion at theaters to save the theater business and to promote their business as well. Interesting. Because I know damn well they need to spend more than that to get me back in them theaters. I went one time since the pandemic. One time. Oh, let me say in Lauren Hill voice. One time. I have. I'm not even tripping. And I went and saw Avatar 2, which was amazing. Y'all seen that? You don't even have to know Avatar 1 or seen it to watch Avatar 2. Go see it. I've never seen these colors of blue and green and purple in my life. Like, and I've traveled some places, you know, tropical places. I was like, damn, where Avatar at? I'm, I'm getting out my map. I'm looking on my phone. Where, where Avatar? Where they filmed this at? Because, damn, that was pretty. Great movie, great storylines. It was like four hours, but it, it flew by. Maybe because I haven't been in a theater in a while. But who wants to go to theater still? Do you? Do y'all? Let me tell you, I knew theaters were in trouble even before the pandemic. Why? Because when I saw them do them arc lights and, you know, went from arc lights to uh, those real luxury theaters all across the country. To me, that wasn't them saying, oh, we're going to make the experience better because better is also a lower price. <laughs> you know what I mean? The prices went 4X. You know, you, you go there, you get popcorn. To, or a date, you and your lady, popcorn, drank large, uh, hot dog too, um, some Snickers, some Jujubees, some gummies, <laughs> right? You get all that. It's two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. I was like, damn. I was like, what about the seats that don't recline? Oh, that's two thirty. I was like, what the? <laughs> what the hell is this, man? They were doing three much, and I was like, oh, I see it right now. Those are those last ditch efforts, those thwarts of of life. Like, oh, we got to make these people happy because they ain't coming like they used to or they don't want to come. Right. So we got to compete with their home experience. Let me just tell every theater in the world, you ain't going to ever have a theater fresher than my house. You're going to have a bigger screen. You're going to have maybe even more comfortable chairs. But let me just tell you, my snacks are cheaper. <laughs> my chair fits me. Oh, uh, man, my screen is okay. Uh, my temperature is perfect for me. Every theater I've been in is either too cold or too hot because there's too many people in it. Um, ain't nobody else in here that I don't want, don't like, ain't talking. Shut up. I ain't got to do all that at a crib. Like, it's just a lot going on. Oh, especially if you go to the wrong movie. Don't go to no comedy or don't go to like a B movie. Well, oh, girl, shoot. She better not wear that. Girl, Lee. Oh, damn. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> My boy Jay uh, was in Top Gun. Y'all know him from Insecure, right? Uh, Lisa Ray, Issa Rae's. Um, Lisa Ray. Oh, the singer. Uh, Issa Rae, yeah, and him was in uh, Insecure. Did they find? I forgot Insecure. It was like 19 seasons of it, but I think they got back together then. But point being, he was in Top Gun, and that's the homie. And, um. I swear, every time I see him and every time we saw him and every time he would come over, we'd be like, we going to the theater to see Top Gun. Because everyone was saying Top Gun was the movie to bring us back to the theater right after the pandemic. Well, it didn't bring us. Um, and I heard they got like a remix of it and remakes of it. I'm going to have to see it because that's my dog. But um, I'm sorry, theaters. I don't know what else y'all going to do. Like, bring the prices down first. Keep all of them amenities and luxuries, but bring the prices down. That might help. Stop trying to make it so fancy that you know, oh, my God, I'm going to leave home, baby, and spend $300 to go somewhere that's comparable. Or even if it's way nicer, $300? Nah, dog, I take the $3 joint at the crib. <laughs> so that's the issue right there. And they're also battling the same thing because they're trying to make that experience rival the home life experience. The problem is uh, movies, I don't have to watch it as soon as it comes out. I do not need to be in the theater friday at 6 p.m to watch it right but friday 6 p.m i was watching princeton i had to see it <laughs> you know what i'm saying and if i were in new york i would have been in madison square garden watching that game damn it so you just got an issue right sometimes it's just your time has come i don't know what they're going to do especially when all these vr technologies start to really invade our homes and it's not this big old fish tank on your face it's going to be just something real sleek like those google glasses or something <laughs> theater where theater who man you got me tripping if magic johnson ain't got theaters no more <laughs> let me stop Baldwin hills ain't got anybody from la know Baldwin hills theater boy go if you went back there before they closed it that thing was smaller than your closet 
it just felt big growing up because we didn't have nowhere else to go. So movies, hang in there. I think things are different.